we are going to learn how to use a micrometer screw gauge. A micrometer screw gauge allows us to read the reading up to 0.01 mm. So its precision is 0.01 mm. For example, 3.34 mm. A micrometer has a higher precision that compared to a meter rule or a vernier calipers. Let's see. A meter rule has a precision of 0.1 cm or a mm. And a vernier caliper has a precision of 0.1 mm. Lastly, a micrometer has a precision of 0.01 mm. Now, look across the three pieces of instrument. Meter rule, vernier calipers, micrometer. Meter rule has 1 mm precision. Vernier caliper, 0.1 mm and micrometer 0.01 mm. Have you seen the trend? From meter rule to vernier calipers, it has one more decimal of an mm in precision. So for micrometer, it has two decimal point of an mm in precision. So when you compare across the three instruments, the precision increases by one decimal of an nm for a meter rule to a pair of vernier calipers to a micrometer. You also can learn how to read a micrometer using the notes in your file by following the following steps. Now let's look at the structure of a micrometer screw gauge. A micrometer has two scales. One, the main scale, and the second, is the timber scale. The timber scale will rotate around the main scale as you have seen it in the video. So let's go through the next exercise. Let's learn how to read a reading on a micrometer. First, we will read the reading on a main scale. On the main scale, on the top, from the zero mark, we count 1 mm, 2 mm, 3 and 4 mm mark. Then the bottom markings are for 0 0.5 mm markings. So, in the reading above, we have 4.5 or 4.5 mm. Then that is on the main scale. So we will record the main scale as 4.5 mm. Next. We go to read the thimble scale. The thimble scale has a 0 0.16 mm that coincide with the datum line on the main scale. That is the 16th division of the thimble scale coincide or align with the datum line on the main scale. Therefore, we give it a reading of 0 0.16 mm. So the timber scale is 0 0.16 mm. Then the measured reading is the sum or the total of the, the above two. 4.5 plus 0 0.16 mm will give us 4.66 mm. And that will be our final reading of the measurement using a micrometer screw gauge. Let's try one more. Can you figure out what is the reading on this micrometer screw gauge? Can you figure out what is the reading on this piece of micrometer screw gauge? Yes, the reading on the main scale is 1.5 mm. Then, what is the reading on the timber scale? The 46 division on the timber scale aligns with the datum line on the main scale. Therefore, is this 0 0.46 mm for the timber scale reading. And hence, 
the working 1.5 plus 0.46 will give us 1.96 mm. Zero error on micrometer. Like a pair of vernier clippers, micrometer may have a zero error. On the diagram above, there's no zero error. Then we must learn how to recognize whether a micrometer has a zero error or has a positive zero error or a negative zero error. When the thimble scale zero mark is aligned with the datum line on the main scale, it has no zero error, just like the diagram above. Let's look at this example. Is it obvious that this micrometer, when it is closed, but the reading is not zero, it's supposed to have a zero reading, but now it is not, so it has a zero error. Because we say zero error is indication of a measurement system that gives a false reading when the actual measurement is supposed to be zero. Yes, so what is the zero error here? This zero error is 0 0.04 mm because there are four divisions on the thimble scale that align with the datum line of the main scale and it is a positive zero error. Let's look at this example. In this example, the timber scale seems to be overly tightened to the left. Therefore, it gives us a negative zero error. And the negative zero error is negative 0 0.01. As you can, you can see, the zero marking of the thimble scale runs above the datum line of the main scale. Or you can read it this way, the 49th division of the timber scale aligns with the datum line of the main scale. Therefore, 0 0.49 minus 0 0.50 will give you negative 0 0.01. It sounds complicated, isn't it? So the easy way to look at it is to see whether the zero marking of the timber scale is it run above the datum line of a main scale. If it is likely that it is a negative zero error, and we must count how many divisions that it has run above the datum line. In this case, it is one division above the datum line. Therefore, it is negative 0.01 mm.